The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the August 13th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, wait, we've got you covered there, too. You can let those fingers do the walking. Go ahead, send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question, and in our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, mixed bag out here. you got the Dow up 14, S&P 3, NASDAQ's up 34, Russell's off 13, semis are up 16, trannies are up 30. New York Stock Exchange is back 11. Gold is up 27 bucks, trading out at 17.78. Silver up 63 pennies. That's two and three quarters percent to the upside. Light sweet crude back 72 cents. She's trading at 68.36, leading the charge dollar wise to the upside. You've got upstart holdings up 21 bucks, 12 percent. Globant up 16 or 6 percent. Regenerate Pharmaceuticals 2 percent, 12 bucks. CyberArk up 12 and MicroStrategy up 11. To the downside, it's Restoration Hardware up 21 bucks, 3 percent. The Line Technology. 14 bucks or 2%. SBB Financial Group, 13, a little over 2%. Paycom Software, 13 to the downside, nearly 3%. Amazon off 11, that's less than three tenths of a percent. So, where do we begin? Let's begin with our first question. The first question coming in from Brent in Martinez, California. Brent wants to take a look at ticker symbol AU, that is Anglo Ashanti. Uh, Brent went ahead and took a long position in this uh, this morning. So uh, if we take a look at what's well, for, first, Brent, let's take a look at the profiles. And we really got two that we can look at. The first is going to be the monthly time frame. So price, I don't know. We'll, we'll take a look at the white background charts momentarily. But what we can see is that the low of the week is $15.23. The low or the bottom, I should say, of the monthly profile is $15.24. So its back is up against the wall. As long as $15.24 holds, it says, OK, I've got potential. A new profile formed yesterday on the daily time frame. At price right now is just slightly above the bottom of the profile. That's a level you'd like to see price stay above. That is at 1579. Center's at 1635. Top is at 1747. That's all that we've really got for you on the profile levels. Let's pull over the white background chart and see what kind of signals do we have. On a daily time frame for a ticker symbol AU, I don't have any kind of a bottoming signal here. doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed. It just doesn't have one of those TD9 count, roads momentum indicator signals, no A to B equals CD, downside pattern. So hey, that's just simply what the daily chart is showing us. The weekly time frame, as we take a look at it, we populate this, you can see that it is in wave, potentially wave number seven. Of course, you need to see a higher low next week to in fact confirm that pattern. Otherwise, the weekly chart for AU could be signaling to move all the way back to its breakout level of $11.60. If we look at the monthly time frame chart, well, we already covered the monthly with regard to price getting back to the bottom of that profile. No other signal there. So that leaves us with really just a short-term chart here, Brent. If we take a look at the 30-minute chart, 
All we've really got is a bunch of sideways movement. They do have a roads momentum indicator bottom. At, that took place at about 10.30 a couple of days ago. The same thing, uh, you've got a roads momentum indicator bottom. That was back on August the uh, 10th, so three days ago. Uh, yeah, that's, so, uh, hey, Brent, I don't know what else I can provide to you. Uh, I would say the best thing would be for this to continue to close above the bottom of that daily profile. And again, that number is 1579. So I hope that that helps you out. I know you also yesterday wanted to take a look at gold, G-O-L-D, the ticker symbol, I believe. And so we'll do that. As long as we're here, folks, taking a look at these instruments in the mining uh, sector, we'll go take a look at the actual physical contract um, next. But as I take a look at Barrick Gold, uh, let me get... Uh, white background chart here going on the daily time frame or profile wise bear gold uh, is below daily weekly and monthly profile so what we need to see here is some kind of a, a bottom pattern so let's begin by looking at the white background daily time frame in it we can see prices move lower has done so with uh, less relative energy but what's missing as we speak right now is some type of bullish reversal candle and in the case of barrett gold price got up tested and rejected its oscillator and change line at 2049 on a weekly time frame price could be pulling back it's got a nice td9 count top and the td9 breakout level is 1944 and on a 30-minute time frame chart out here looks very similar to what we just looked at with AU for its 30 minute uh, chart. So that's uh, uh, both AU as well as gold, bear gold. Now let's go take a look at Goldilocks itself and see what kind of signals we have. Now to do that, what I want to do here, Brent, is go to my nine, our eight panel chart. So we're going to switch up the uh, screens here. <clears throat> and now you've got your eight panel chart here. Let's see, how do I do this? So first, Although it's difficult to draw it in because I don't have the A to B equals CD to a Ninja Trader 8 here, um, you should be able to see from the TD9 count on the weekly basis, you can see the A to B and then the C to D leg, which completed at the TD9 breakout level of 1683. You've got a hammer candle that's in place as of 113 in the afternoon. On a weekly basis, gold has generated a Gertley buy pattern. It's certainly uh, gone ahead and generated a buy the D point. And it's done that at a very key level of uh, support. That's a 1683. On the daily time frame, the daily time frame formed an A to B equals CD pattern. That was confirmed a couple of days ago with the Three River Morning Star candle formation. Now, price is above a key level of resistance. That's at 1771. 1771 is the oscillator on change line. This now suggests, Brent, that what price should go target, although you can't see it on this chart, what price should go target is the 1786 level. 1786 is the bottom of a new profile that formed yesterday. And in essence, that should be resistance. If price can close above 1786, uh, then you could see a move, a move up to 1802 or 1817. Oh, did, uh, yeah, 17. I said 1786. I meant to say 1788.50. So the numbers are 1788.50, 1804.30, and 1820.10 on any continued moves higher. If we look at the intraday time frames, just looking for any kind of topping signals, and the only one that is present is the 30-minute uh, time frame, which has a TD9 count. It was bar number eight that identified the high. That was right here at 1230. That says that that high is going to be a key level. If, in fact, price closes above 1781.30, it tells us about a strong momentum move on the 30-minute time frame for Goldilocks. So, Brent, in this instance here, gold, the contract itself, looks better than G-O-L-D or A-U. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter 
Mastering Probability is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE, and you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at SoFi Technologies. SOFI is the uh, ticker symbol. And uh, we can see that price uh, today is pulled back to a key level of support. That is the bottom of its bullish structured profile. And that is at the uh, 1491 level, today's low, 1493. Now, you can also see that this week, price has tested and rejected the bottom of its weekly profile, 1738. So in the case of SoFi, is this a buying opportunity? Look, price is right back against support. So uh, it now does have volume, pretty significant volume, 44 million shares versus the last time price was back here was 16 million shares. But if you're asking, is price back at, at support? The answer is yes. Let's look at the daily time frame with my white background charts. This generated a road momentum indicator bottom pattern. That pattern uh, came into effect back here on July 27th. So as long as price uh, remains uh, above this 1495 level, you've got a little bit of perhaps a consolidation. Uh, but price is back at support. If support fails, meaning 1495 fails, then we could be looking at A to B equals CD to the downside. Oh, I can't draw it in here. That would be the pattern. Maybe we can do that on the black background chart. So let's take a look at the weekly chart. Now, SoFi hasn't traded long enough to generate it, to generate enough data from a uh, pattern standpoint. So the weekly is not going to provide us with anything, nor is the uh, monthly 30-minute chart. No, that's not going to. So if you're asking is price at support, the answer is yes. If the support level fails, there is an A to B equals CD to the downside to be contended with. It's a gigantic one, really. Um, so I don't even want to go there because it, it, you know, pretty much will take this down to, you know, close to zero or certainly back to the, well, really, where would be the target be? It'd be back into the November 30th IPO uh, time frame out there, and that's anywhere from a low of 10.10 to a high of 1394. So that's what we're looking at at SoFi. It has pulled back to a level of support that was the uh, bottom of its daily profile. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, that came from the Tiger's Den. The next question coming from James. James wants to take a look at NVIDIA. 
what do you think is good entry or swing trade uh, longer term? So let's go take a look at NVIDIA. NVDA is the ticker symbol. Uh, I don't believe there's an entry point here yet. Uh, price is trading above the top of the daily, above the, um, yeah, it's, it trade, it's trading with inside the weekly profile. So your resistance level is 208.75. Prices at 201.73, James. So certainly, I'm not going to suggest that you enter into some type of long trade, knowing that prices headed up towards a resistance level. Let's pull over my other Nvidia charts out here. The ultimate entry area, if price could get back there, I don't have any indication that it will. Is about 181.32, the bottom of the daily profile. But again, no indication that price is going to get back there. The daily time frame chart. What do we have? Just really a consolidation between the TD nines. TD9 count top out here on the trading day of July 7th. TD9 count bottom on July 19th. What we have is just your good old-fashioned consolidation between support and resistance there, James. So as far as the entry uh, point, I think we're going to have to look for some type of a pattern out here. Um, and it's just not in place. And I wouldn't expect it to be in place here for for days, if not a week or so, or something along those lines. So uh, no entry point that I can give to you inside of uh, NVIDIA as we speak right now. But thanks so much for writing in, Andy, a question. Ruby wants to take a look at the uh, Russell 2000. You're long. And so if you're long the Russell 2000, here's what it's doing. It's just your good old-fashioned consolidation. We'll just simply expand the uh, chart out here. We'll just expand it a bit more. And so what we're looking at here, Ruby, is just a good old-fashioned sideways consolidation. Now, I don't know where you're long from. Uh, but what I can share with you is price is trading with inside a bullish structured daily profile. And that says that over time, price should be able to get up and tag the top of the profile because price is well above the center. So that's at the 2283 uh, level, but you're just inside a good old fashioned consolidation. Uh, I'll go and switch over to our eight panel charts out here. Give me a moment to go find those. And, and then this way we can take a look at uh, some short-term signals, see if there's anything out here for you on that. Okay, get back there. And here's the eight-panel chart. So on the eight-panel chart, Ruby, what I would say, because you're long, is what you don't want to see is price close below 22.23. 22.23 is the uh, daily chart that we're looking at. I'll expand this out for you. And on the daily time frame chart, that is the oscillator and change line. It is red. And if you close below a red oscillator and change line, odds favor that price will continue to move lower. I'm not saying that it's going to be a market crash or something, just simply that it would move lower. So key level of support, 22.23. If you look at the 30-minute time frame chart here, you can see the Rhodes momentum indicator pattern formed and completed right at 11 o'clock when we had that nice bull sash candle. Now, what price needs to do for you in order to uh, – so your stop is under 22.25. Um, okay. Uh, 22.24.60 is the bottom of that 30-minute profile. So you say under 22.25. I'd have to say – I'd say you want to be under 22.24.60. Um, and what you want to see from the long perspective is you're looking for price to close above 22.33. That's the top of the current profile, and it's slightly bearish in structure. So, Ruby, uh, watch the 22.23 level. That's not an area that you want to see go, but your stop is under 22.25, so I think we're, uh, I think we're looking at something uh, similar there. So I hope that helps you out, and best of luck to you in that trade. Let's take a look at some other questions that have come in. I believe uh, Nancy has written in. Nancy wants to take a look at Apple. So let's get to uh, back to the black background screens. Give me a moment to get that set up. And screen share. And here when we take a look at Apple, we can see the price, Nancy. Let me see what your question. Question is, uh, can you give an educated estimate as to where Apple will end up today? Absolutely. Right where it's at right now. That would be my educated guess. Why would that be Stevie's educated guess for Nancy? Well, because the top of the daily profile is right here. So the top of your daily profile, Nancy, is 149.01. Price to trade at 148.93. The high today, 149.44. You know, I'm not saying that price can't clear this area. And if it does, then the next level is 150 even Steven. So I'd say that the uh, Apple likely not to take out the uh, 150. That's the top of its bearish structured weekly profile out there. Um, and there's no signal that it's going to do that today. Volume today, about 41 million shares. Yesterday was a uh, volume of about 74 million shares as price moved higher. 
So let me go over and uh, get to the uh, other white background charts here, just see if there's any other signals uh, with regard to Apple. So let me get that set up here. A price is, Nancy, above the top of its a monthly profile out there, but it's really going to be that 150 level that you're going to need to see Apple close above to suggest that uh, it's got uh, breakout mode, and maybe that then is going to go ahead and help the NQ do the same kind of thing. As we take a look at the daily chart, you've got a TD9 count top, uh, so if that gets taken out, that's the high from uh, July 15th. That would be a positive for you. If I look at the weekly time frame, that would suggest much higher price. If I look at the uh, weekly time frame out here, this is going to be bar number nine of a TD9 count, but it's, uh, it's not going to be a valid TD9 count top. That could take place next week on the weekly chart as long as price is able to move above, just has to move above. It doesn't have to close above it, the 150 level. That 150 is really a key area. Monthly time frame chart as we take a look at the white background. Uh, this is a very bullish uh, setup as we speak right now this week because price has taken out its TD9 count top. And that was at the 145.09 level. So, Nancy, the answer to your question, buck 50, even Steven. Steve Rhodes with TFN. Be right back. Having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Welcome back, folks. Dow's up 26, S&P 4, NASDAQ 100 up 32 points. Let's go to our question here from Hector and the fuel injector. And Hector wants to take a look at Newmont Mining. NEM is the uh, ticker symbol. And as we take a look at it, the very first thing that Hector would like me to do is to uh, confirm for him whether this is in an A to B equals CD to the downside. So, Hector, the A point that we would use is the uh, May 19th high, 75.31. The B point, which had volume of about 5.5 million shares is on June 29th. Shallow retracement into a high on July 14th. And uh, the swing point was taken out with volume. So, the answer to your question, is this an A to B equals CD down pattern inside of Newmont on the daily time frame? The answer is yes. But I say hold on a minute here. We've got to hold our horses. First of all, this is important for you to understand. There's a brand new profile that formed yesterday. And this is a bullish structured profile that tells us that support is between 5851 and 5906. So that doesn't take away from the A to B equals CD pattern, but we don't just simply use A to B equals CD patterns for our bottom or our topping signals. And instead, we'll pull over the chart for Newmont Mining. And we take a look at the chart for Newmont Mining, we can see that price has been moving lower, doing less relative energy. And then three days ago, we had that nice bullish reversal candle, the bull sash candle. Now, as long as price remains above, and when I say remains above, I mean closes above 57.96 hectare, Forget about the A to B equals CD. You've got a confirmed road momentum indicator bottom inside of Newmont. Now, it's got to prove itself to us. And the first proof, it would be a close above the oscillator and change line at about the 59.06 uh, type area. It is not above that right now. And then a close above the top of that profile at 60.16, that would be a bullish signal out here. So if you're asking me, is there, an a to, is there a possibility of an A to B equals CD to the downside? The answer is yes. I'll also share with you on the weekly chart out here that Newmont Mining is now going to confirm a TD9 count. This is the bar following bar number nine. That is occurring above 55.63, the breakout level. And so, Hector, I would say that Newmont Mining more likely has bottomed than, it ha than it's signaling to us that it wants to complete that A to B equals CD down pattern. So I hope that helps you out with regard to that analysis. Let's go out to Philly and speak with John. John, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Steve, I'm, I'm well. Uh, more importantly, Steve, um, at least your voice is markedly improved compared to yesterday. So I hope that uh, describes your general state of being. And if so, we uh, will be sending you lots of white light. Sounds great. Yep. Yep. Uh, you know, I think the voice is probably the uh, is probably the key uh, with regard to the energy uh, level. So uh, I am doing uh, just fine. So uh, thanks so much. Now, the S&P 500, I believe, is yes. what it is that uh, we're going to take a look at, which is trading out about 4464. Uh, so yeah, what are you Steve, looking at? Can I ask you a very specific question regarding the S&P 500 cash index daily chart? Yep. I would like to have you pull up your chart work that displays your interpretation of the TD9 count, the TD combo setup, and the TD sequential setup. Uh, I don't know if, uh, if you do all three. And my question is, once you, if you can share that with us, the current status, mm -hmm. is there any signal or clue of the near future that's be, being given from those, please? That's the question. Okay, so I'll 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 do my I'll do the best that I can. What we're going to first do is I'm going to switch over to my eight panel screen of the S&P 500. Um, first, I can give you the TD nine counts with regard to the sequential and the combo. I actually got that tool. Uh, I was experimenting with it uh, during during my uh, COVID stay. And, and I actually got it working on my laptop. So, John, I may be able to get that working on this desktop here. I'll try to do that over the weekend, and then I'll be able to give you those those signals. But specifically with regard, and I know you want me to take a look at the daily chart, and I will, but I first, the, the chart that is most important for you and I with regard to the S&P 500's intent is going to be the weekly time frame chart. So I'm just simply going to expand that first, and I'll explain why. And the reason is because this is going to be the bar following bar nine of the TD nine count. So if the S&P is going to put in a top, short term, intermediate term, whatever that might be, price will not trade above whatever the high of this week is. 
And I don't know what that high is going to be just yet. If price continues to move higher, we just want to take a look at whatever the high of this week is. If next week the S&P closes above that high, that signals to you and I a strong momentum move for the weekly time frame. So any questions about, about the weekly chart just yet, uh, John? None whatsoever. Yeah. So that's and the reason I wanted to go there is because now we take a look at the daily time frame chart. I don't have a TD nine count top. We're going to be let me pull this back a bit. We're going to be in bar number seven of a TD nine count that says that there could be a short term top that forms between Monday and Wednesday next week. That does mean also that during Monday to Wednesday next week, we could see price trade above. Uh, the high of the weekly chart that could be signaling to us the breakout, but we really have to come back to the end of the week, the Friday close. If Friday's close is above this week's high, whatever that is, tells us about a strong momentum move. But if you're asking, is there any potential for some kind of a uh, of a potential top inside the S&P 500, I would default back to the daily time frame chart, and I would say we'd be paying attention to Monday through Wednesday of next week. Any questions about the daily time frame chart or anything else that you may have? Uh, notice that that really I've overlooked. Uh, no further uh, question on that daily. Okay. I might follow that up and just ask you this. You referred to working the sequential and combo systems on a yes. different uh, different system of yours. Yes. Uh, so you're unable to show that. That's fine. I understand. Yeah. I'm curious. Having done some of that anyway in the past couple of days, did anything uh, strike you regarding those uh, looking looking ahead? My 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 actually my entire focus was trying to get the tool to work versus ah. any signal yeah. information because. As you know, I had that tool working for quite some time. I did a big upgrade. I, I lost uh, I lost that tool um, since I had a bit of time on my hands, so to speak. I just happened to be going through it. I located it again, and uh, I did all that experimentation uh, off of my main system. So uh, you, you reminded me about that work, and I'll try to get that going, and then we can. But I, I just I was looking more to get the tool going than I was any signals. But you you pay attention closely to the uh, to sequential and I believe there was a there's supposed to have been a a, a 13 count was is, my, that, uh, is that? My, yeah just uh, the reason I ask is this my read of that yeah is indeed this week it was either Monday or Tuesday my application yes. of Tommy DeMarc's sequential system gave a sequential cell now I'm not the master I'm uh, just a second-hand student applying something of his that I learned decades ago. If uh, so, was it if was it the thirteen count? I'm not looking at my charts. A uh, nine thirteen count, a sequential cell was given on the close either Monday or Tuesday. Importantly, no confirmation has been given. That okay. is my read for what it's worth. Got it. So, so you actually got the 13 count signal. We just haven't gotten to close below the bar four bars ago, or something along those lines. Something along those lines, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Steve, uh, okay. Great to hear you're doing better, and thank you for your John. time. You bet. You bet. Have a great day. That was John in Philly. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. 
With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, uh, folks. One of our dinners, Satish, is looking for an entry point into Amazon out here. And so, Satish, I would say that what you're really looking for, we look at the left-hand panel chart out here, daily time frame. It's in an A to B equals CD to the downside. It uh, made the 1.618 level yesterday. And what you're really looking for here is some type of bullish reversal candle to confirm that bottom. Now, I do want to share with you that we've already got that we did get a we did get a first bullish reversal candle that was back on August 3rd. Uh, that candle has been negated. So you're waiting for the next one. So that's a possibility. If you get a bullish reversal candle, you're going to get a Gertley buy pattern. Now, on the weekly time frame, there's some damage that has been done. And that damage, uh, you can see prices trading now for week number three below the bottom of that profile. And that suggests lower price. Let's pull over Amazon's other chart. So, again, the daily says there's a potential if a bullish reversal signal forms to confirm that A to B equals CD. But well, here's the weekly chart. Uh, as I populate this, the weekly chart shows a road's momentum indicator top with price below the bottom of that profile. That suggests lower price. Now, lower to where? I'm not going to, you know, the, the weekly figure is 2330, but that's not the figure I would be throwing out at you. I would then say if uh, we don't get that bullish reversal candle, what you're looking for here, Satish, is a move back to 3218. Now, 3218 would be the uh, TD9 breakout level for Amazon. Uh, today's going to be bar number five. That says a TD9 count pattern could form sometime next week, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday of next week. And if it could form above 3218, that would be a bottom signal. The oscillator and change line has changed from green to red. We should expect and anticipate price and that line to eventually catch up to each other over the coming sessions. I don't know how many sessions that is. But I would continue to be on a lookout in the in the case of Amazon for a bottom, um, and uh, and preferably it's a bullish reversal candle above 3218. So I hope that helps you out, Satish, with regard to Amazon. Thanks so much for the request. The next request uh, coming in from uh, email is from uh, who is this from? Vicky, I believe, and the question is. As WKHS bottom, WK workhorse, right? WKHS. Let's go see what that is. That is Workhorse Group. And Workhorse Group right now, uh, Vicky is trading below the bottom of its daily profile. The bottom of that profile is 996. So we know that's not a good thing. It's trading with inside its weekly profile. 
Uh, it may have found support at 930. If 930 doesn't hold, we should expect price to get to the 781 level. Prices below the bottom of its bullish structured monthly profile. So let me get uh, WK... HS. Let me get that rolling on just my daily, weekly, and 30-minute charts out here. Your question specifically has this bottom. Well, from a profile standpoint, the answer there is going to be no. But we do want to go take a look and see what our, our signals on the white background chart shows us. <clears throat> so what we have, is this going to be a TD9 count today, Vicky? So there's some potential there. Now, it could be a lower low on Monday, so I wouldn't take any action just yet. The reason I say I wouldn't take any action just yet is just simply because on a 30-minute time frame, even though I've got the bottom signal, roads went to indicator bottom signal, we don't have price taking out resistance, which would be 957. So Workhorse has the potential out here. Let me see what's the weekly chart show. Weekly chart. Nah, weekly chart's not helping us. So on the daily time frame, You've got a breakout, TD9 breakout at 843, bar number nine today, wave number seven, G. We don't get a, confirm, a confirmation of that until there's a higher low. Uh, but this has got some potential out here. I would uh, wait uh, to at least till Monday uh, or if somehow during the afternoon uh, price takes out 957, then that could be your early entry uh, into a position out here so yeah workhouse has got some workhorse has got some potential out there uh let's come back to this uh, next week if we can uh vicky i hope that that helps you out thanks so much for writing in next question coming in from michael p michael says uh you're in mara bitf and btc do you see a topping pattern your target in uh, bitcoin btc is to fill the gap so uh, i had to do a bunch of work this morning on this uh e-signal system i don't know that i've got my Bitcoin chart. So give me a second here. Uh, let me see if I can. Oh, that's not how to do it. Um, you know what? I can do it just off. I can do it. So it's BTC. We're in August. It's got to be the August contract, I believe. No? Okay. Maybe not. Shoot. BTC. 9-2-1. Okay. Let me take a look at the September contract out here and give give this a second. So in the case of Bitcoin specifically, I'll take a look at the futures contract. I'll take a look at the September futures contract, that is. Your specific question is, do I see a top or do I see a, a higher topping pattern? And the answer is I do not. Uh, I could see price pulling back to test the oscillator and change line. That would be in the 42,278. That would be normal and natural. In fact, if price were to do that, Mike, and test and reject that, that would be a bullish signal and suggest a move up to the 58,360 level. That's a TD9 breakdown area on the daily time frame. Uh, if I look at the 30-minute chart out here, the 30-minute chart has, a, I know that's not what you were asking about. It does have a short-term topping pattern, but that just led to a sideways consolidation. So back to the daily, the answer is no, I do not see a topping signal inside of uh, Bitcoin for the September contract. That doesn't mean that it that won't pull back because that oscillator and change line did turn colors. You also wanted to take a look at, we'll just do it right here, M-A-R-A is uh, one of the other requests that you've got. So we'll let this go ahead and populate for the daily, weekly time frame. And I know your question is really the same. Is there a top? There is a... Uh... So what Price here did, Mike, is it ran right into TD9 breakdown resistance, 36.23. And when it did that, it was able to also generate wave number seven signal. That's letter G that's on my screen. Right now, I would say that Mara is consolidating between 36.23 and about the 22 area. Now, I'm not saying price is going to get back to 22 because price is trading above a green oscillator and change line, 32.34. So there's a lot of damage that would have to be done in order for that to occur. But you do have this resistance at 36.23. That's coming from the daily time frame. On a weekly chart out here, the weekly chart looks pretty good because we've got price above the top of a weekly profile with no topping signal in play. So I'd say back to the uh, daily time frame real quickly here. If price can clear 36.23, it's off to the races to the upside. And then the last one was BITF. I don't know what BITF is. It doesn't really matter. We're just going to look at the chart here as soon as it populates. Very similar uh, BITF. So BITF does have a topping signal. Uh, it has a TD9 count. Uh, 747 is resistance. Price should uh, pull back and test its oscillator and change line. 
Right now, Mike, that's printing at 585. So does BITF have a topping pattern? It does for its daily time frame. It's the TD9 count and suggests move back to the 585 area. On a weekly chart out here, what do we have? Weekly chart looks pretty good. So it's the daily that's going to control things here for a bit of time. Now, on the other side of that, if price were to close above any time, price were to close above 747, that's the high of the TD9 count pattern, then that tells you about a strong momentum move to the upside. So if you're long this, I would still stay long. I'd anticipate, well, 702 to 585, that could be a, that's a fairly big hit out there. Uh, what do the 30-minute charts say? Not much just yet. You get a top. You get a valid top on BITF. Mike. Thanks so much for writing in. Thanks for your good wishes. Talk to you soon. Steve Rhodes with TF and Ed. Hope you're right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave! Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. So Jeff in Philly wants to take a look at ticker symbol CRWD, that's CrowdStrike Holdings. And as we take a look at it, his question specifically is, um, do the charts, he's looking for a confirmation that the charts are bearish. So as we take a look at the daily time frame, we can see this is going to be day number three below the bottom of a bullish structure daily profile. So Jeff, the answer to that question is yes. 
Where's price headed to? Well, from a profile's per perspective, we'd say 218.24. That's the top of the weekly profile. Let's look at CrowdStrike with my other white background charts and see what kind of signals we have. Here for the daily time frame, what we've got, Jeff, is a road momentum indicator top. That was confirmed back in the trading day of July 29th. Uh, that has taken price, as we talked about, below the bottom of bullish structured profile. The next downside target on a daily time frame will become the TD9 breakout level. So 214.76. So the answer to your question is yes, my charts also confirm a lower move in CrowdStrike. Now, as we look at the weekly time frame, you have a TD9 count top. Prices below the oscillator and change line. That would suggest move back to the 218.24 to 204.53 level. Top of the profile and then the TD9 breakout area. And on a monthly time frame, nothing there really to assist us. So, yes, the answer to your question, does CrowdStrike uh, show uh, further downside action is likely? The answer to that question is uh, yes. That's based upon the uh, TAS market profiles and the topping patterns that are out there. Let's finish off the show by taking a look at the U.S. dollar index, which has had a big move today, a big move back to support. Now, very much like CrowdStrike, this also generated a road momentum indicator topping pattern. It did that a couple of days ago on August the 11th. And if we take a look at that, so this, this, that, that chart did not show you the new profile. Let me move over here and you will see it right here. I'll just simply expand that chart. Oh, expand. There we go. So watch the level of 92.41. U.S. dollar index closes below that. Doesn't have to be today, but if it closes below that, price should head back to that little rising trend line and Goldilocks should continue to move higher. Folks, stay tuned. Two more great hours left. I'll be back with you on Magical Monday. Have a fantastic Friday. Take care.